You don't have to go in, you know. Well, I'd rather. It doesn't mean I don't care, though. Oh, I know that. I'm probably best off with your mates, anyway. Come here. If you change your mind, just ring the key. Doing up. I was just going to bring you a copper. Oh, I've got to go home. I've got to get on. Loads of things to do. I've got to get rid of his stuff for a start. Carl, you don't have to do that today. I want to. The funeral needs sorting out as well, doesn't it? Why does he have to be buried in County Flaming Kildare? It's just family tradition. I know, but it's typical, isn't it? Can't even bury my own husband without your family stepping in. You know, I could just have had him cremated, got it over and done with, but no. This is Paul Connor we're talking about. It's got to be different. It's got to be flaming awkward. Well, Carl, I'll come back inside. Why does it have to end like this, eh? Why do you have to make me hate him before he dies? I'm coming. So the funeral's Wednesday? Yeah. Did she book the flights? Yeah. Was there a... Was there a problem with the coffee? No, it just goes in the old, apparently. It's hardly going to travel with us, is it? Be a bit in the way of the drinks, Trolley. <laughs> Mum rang again. She was still up for coming over. I told her I'd be there tomorrow. What's the point? She's in bits, isn't she? Dad's being strong for her, though. Can't help feeling like it was a punishment, the way he died, you know, for what, for what we did. Who knows, maybe I'll end up dying like that, though. Shut up. I don't even want to think about that, OK? I just want to concentrate on how things used to be. Yeah, don't we all? Don't work like that, though, does it? 